guys, it's Sam. First of all, don't mind my hair today. I feel like I have like poodle ears. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on right now. Do you ever have those days where like you do everything the same, but then it just doesn't go how you want it to go? Oh, I hate those days. So I'm into a new products haul. It's been, this curl is driving me insane. It's been such a long time since I've, I mean, it's probably hasn't been that long of a time. It's been maybe even two weeks, but I have so much to show you. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. First, I'm gonna show you things that I bought and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff that is PR that companies have sent to me. So the very first thing I am wearing today and a review will be coming. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is not new. This has been out for a long time, but it's new to me. And I just saw it in the drugstore and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try this. Like this looks really good. I've seen quite a few um, people using it. So I figured I would just keep it a go. Um, so you'll have to stay tuned for the review or you might've already seen it, but I got the color medium beige and I am wearing it right now. The next thing I also picked up was the new CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I got the color 742. I don't know if it's gonna be my color. I'm hoping it is. Um, a lot of people are reviewing this right now. I figured I would do a review for you guys since I do have oily skin. That way you guys know how it works on oily skin. Um, but apparently it's supposed to be a foundation with vitamins and it has SPF 20, which is really good for the summer. For Mother's Day, Jay bought me the Asimiyaki Low de Issy Floral. I'm so bad at this. I, I'm so bad at French. It's like one of those languages I just can't, I can't get. But the box is pretty itself, but then look at this gorgeous, is that not the most beautiful packaging ever? It's like a little Eiffel Tower or something. I just love it so much. It's so pretty. I love the Isimiyaki bottle anyway, but now that it's pink, it's so perfect for spring. It's such a beautiful scent. It really is like a very soft, flowery, with a slight honeysuckle. It's really nice for spring and summer. I would not wear this in the winter or fall. I don't think it would go at all, but for this time of year, oof, I sprayed a lot. It is really, it's very florally though. It's not rose it. I mean, there is a slight bit of a rose. I don't know, it's just like a bouquet of flowers. It really is pretty, but I love the packaging. And I'm also gonna be getting a massage because um, I've been having back problems. P.S. My back is still hurting. It's not as bad as it was. I'm, I'm able to function a little bit better. I'm able to like film for you at least, um, but it's definitely still there. It's still lingering, so. Okay, so new from Koki Cosmetics. Oh, I'm so excited for this, guys. This is the Fix It Up Matte Setting Spray Long Lasting, and they have a new foundation. This is the Skin Perfect HD Foundation. So I'm gonna be doing a first impressions of this very soon. I'm gonna be doing a lot of foundation reviews very soon. It also came with a little foundation brush, which is the 621. They also have a Koki Professional Powder Contour Palette, and this is actually like, it's kind of like a dupe for the, I mean, I don't know, I haven't used it yet, but it looks like the Kat Von D Shade and Light or whatever that, you know, that contour palette is. It looks so similar to that. So um, I'm definitely gonna be doing a first impressions demo of those products because I'm super excited. I really love Koki Cosmetics. I feel like they've done a beautiful job with everything that I've tried so far. If that is good and it's affordable, I'm so excited to be able to share affordable things with you guys that are actually really good. So look at all these drugstore foundations I have for you guys. Coming soon on DVD. Okay, Prestige sent me a little goodie bag. Uh, let's see what's in here. So we have a Prestige liquid eyeliner, which looks like these. So it looks like it's just like the little kind of felt tip. It looks nice and black, it came out nicely. Prestige Velvety Smoky Eye Pencil. This is just in kind of, oh, this is just in black. Oh, it's got plastic all over it and my nails are not the easiest, but it's basically just an eye pencil. And then they also sent me the Total Intensity Bold Trio Eyeshadow. This is in the color Smoke and Mirrors. That actually came off really nice. Black is a little chalky, but I don't think those are too bad. Sorry, I forgot one more thing from Coco Cosmetics. They have a new HG Translucent Setting Powder. Could this be a dupe for my NARS? OMG. I mean, it kind of looks like they're duping for Makeup Forever. It's kind of got a similar vibe. 
but we shall see. I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, this is the Priori Mineral Skincare. So when I was getting a bunch of the derma, um, no, hydrofacials, my esthetician said that she would recommend using this as a foundation. So I did actually use it when we were traveling to um, Reading over the weekend. I only used this. And I was actually surprised. It had decent coverage for like a beach day or like a no makeup day where you're running errands where you're like, oh my gosh, my skin looks terrible. The color I used was shade two, which was way too light. Like my face was so pale that day. So I definitely need to bump it up to shade three. But um, it has SPF 25 and it's supposed to be like really good if you do have problematic skin. It's just a powder foundation. Um, but it's by Priori and I'm gonna have to try the next shade up and see because I feel like when your foundation is too light, you end up looking weird and it just doesn't give you the the look you're going for. So I'm gonna have to keep you guys updated because it was recommended by an esthetician. Um, and I was, I was like, oh, okay, this is surprising. I just applied it with like a dense like buffing brush and it was, I mean, it was okay. It was pretty good. I just need to, I need the darker color. Okay, so Urban Decay sent me the Ultraviolet Edge. This is the Urban Decay's global initiative to empower women. So this is the box I got. And women's rights is a complicated landscape with many worthy causes. So we decided to pull together their money, the money raised by the Ultraviolet Edge, which gives us the flexibility to support a variety of organizations that are doing incredible things to empower women. Getting involved is as simple as buying something you probably use anyway. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion this time in a limited new neutral shade fix. In addition to fix, we're also expanding our eyeshadow primer range with two other new shades. Free Base, which is an opaque white matte, and Caffeine, which is a rich warm brown matte, and then bringing back Sin, which is a pink champagne shimmer. The new eyeshadow primer potion shades launch March 2017, so they'll be available already for you guys, and they are $20. It came with like a little video and it like has Wendy talking about it. I always like when you get these because I feel like I'm in the said like the future, almost of the century. One hundred percent of your purchase price funds the Ultraviolet Edge, which is the initiative to empower women. So one hundred percent of this, which is really, I mean that's a lot. That's the whole entire thing. Um, and the color, I like the packaging. It's kind of like fancy, but like almost like a little crystal knob or something. Oh, and then it comes out like this. Okay, so it's just like a concealer color. It's just really light, and then that's just a primer for your eyes. I really like the packaging with the little kind of crystal knob. It's very fancy. So this one, oh, I always wanna squeeze it out, but it's not a squeezy type. So this one is just a really pale white, and like they said, it's opaque. Next, we have Sin, which is, um, an oldie but a goodie that they've apparently reintroduced. And that is a pink champagne, which is really beautiful. It catches the light really, really nicely. Then last but not least, which actually I'm very excited about because this is kind of the color that I usually go for, is caffeine. And then that one is supposed to be more of a brown. Ooh, look at that. That would also be really great if you are a deeper skin tone as well. So this, I have to be honest, I am the most excited for. I always get Becca PR, but I was like, this is a fancy one, so I don't know if I'm gonna get it. Um, so I was just going to buy it myself because I was like, I love Chrissy Teigen, and this is so beautiful that I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna do it myself. Huge thank you to Becca, I was so excited for this. First of all, let's talk about the rose quartz. I would like a whole entire kitchen, white and rose quartz. Okay, that's gonna be, and rose gold. Like, that would be amazing. Um, the packaging is beautiful. I might just do a complete separate review of this just because I'm so excited about this. Her, I really want her um, her signature because that's really fabulous too. And it's rose gold on the back. Like, it's just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So, inside of it, you open it up and it says Becca, love Chrissy. And then you get these four amazing powders. So I'm pretty much super excited for this. I don't even want to swatch them yet because I think I'm going to do a separate video because I'm so excited about it. Like so excited. Um, so I don't want to like take away from the excitement by swatching it now and then the video. But I'm going to do a video of this because I really am just like, you know, I'm super into this. I love Chrissy Teigen. I think she's fabulous. I love the fact that she's just like whatevs, just does her thing. And I think she's just amazing. So also it sent me the little, I love it when they give me the little book 
because it's a little video of her shoot and I just love these. I told you it makes me feel like I'm in the future on Mars. So exciting. This I'm super excited about. This is the Naked Skin Natural Tan Tinted Lotion. It's kind of like one of those gradual self tanners. It says that it offers instant hydration and subtle color with flash dry results and no transfer to clothes. Develops a medium natural bronze tan buildable color when applied over two to three days. It says exfoliate thoroughly. This product is moisturizing, so do not moisturize or use a moisturizing shower cream before application, as this will stop from your this will stop your tan from developing. Allow at least six hours before showering, and then fades gradually without patching after five to seven days. It's got aloe vera, pomegranate, and raspberry. So it's basically like those Jergens, like everyday gradual self tanners, but it's not Jergens. Um, and they also sent this really pretty little flower crown, which is very cute. And then another little flower headband. So I'm very excited for that because, you know, something that's easy that you can just apply every day, I think that's so much easier than having to like, you know, take a day to like self tan and it takes forever and it's just like, whoa. Look at this, this is the Lange, 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 I'm just gonna say Lange. Hair on jewel 32 millimeter curling wand. This is in blush. It's basically baby pink and I think it's rose gold. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at this curling wand. Um, this one, I actually was able to choose and I chose it because I really want a one and a half inch curling wand. This one's pink, so it's just so pretty. So I don't know if I do have a one and a half inch, but anyway, I wanted a one and a half inch. This is pink, it's so cute. So I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but I'm so excited to try it. It's just so pretty and girly and just like, I'm, it's just so beautiful. So I'm so excited to try that. Um, this is from Too Cool For School and it says that they have um, a perfect moisturizing lip balm that's illustrated by Anki Weckman. I hope I said that wrong or right, Anki, or maybe it's Ank. The first artist we collaborated for our, for, for our packaging it is two little lip balms, like look how cute this little cat is, is wanting to eat a cupcake. And then it came in this adorable little cat bag. This is like the cutest little thing ever. But wait till you see the lip balms, they're so adorable. They're called Max in Pocket and they are basically just too cool for school little lip balms. But look how cute they are guys. Oh, is that not the cutest little lip balm ever? Great gifts for kids, but also a cat lady or if someone just likes cute things. I gotta open the pink one because I'm pretty much super excited about it. And it looks so adorable. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! It comes with a little chain so you can wear it as like a little key ring or something. Oh, and it's pink inside. There's no scent. That's kind of a bummer, but it's pink. Oh, and it's just like a sheer like touch of pink. It's not anything super like whoa pink, it's just a very sheer, let's just put some on. It's not super sticky at all. Oh, it's really nice. Really nice pink color. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And then I'm guessing that the yellow one is yellow. Those are adorable. <gasps> Those are too cool for school and they are so cute. Got this box, it says naked, or sorry, it says Urban Decay gives good face. And then you open it up and pretty much super exciting, guys but they have a whole new collection of face products. Can you see? Okay, are you ready for this? First, we have the Naked Skin, the Aluminizer Translucent Pressed Beauty Powder. This is $34, and basically this is supposed to be a powder that instantly illuminates, giving skin a radiant look that's damn pretty. That's actually what it says. So it's a powder, but it has a tiny hint of a glow. So it's not like a full on highlight, but it does have kind of a, a little, you can see the little sparkles in there. Like you really can't even tell, but it just gives a very kind of gentle glow, but it is translucent. So I'm gonna do a full video on this guys, cause I feel like you need to see it on the face to see how it works. This is the Liquid Aura Illuminating Mix in Medium. This is retailing for $32. And basically, it's an illuminating mix-in medium for all over brightening. Mix one drop with naked skin liquid makeup or naked skin one and done and then apply as usual. Or you can apply it directly on top of your foundation for a highlight. And it's basically just this amazing like opal kind of like liquidy delightfulness. And it's got this purple 
kind of like I said opal tint to it and then it gives you this really gorgeous kind of like euphoric glow. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's very gentle. Then we have the new Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifters. These are $45 and it basically has a cream palette and then a powder palette. So there's contouring shades of both cream and powder. So it looks like this, you open it up, one side is all of the um, powders and then you have a little mirror and then the next side is your creams. Now obviously this is the darker shade um, if you're a little bit deeper of a skin tone and then they also have the lighter shades. So you get a highlight in there, you get obviously your light contour, your medium contour, and your dark contour, and then you have the exact same in the cream side as well. This retails for, it does not, oh here we go, $39. Um, so one is a fan and then one is like more of a kind of like a little bit more dense contouring brush. And then this is what I'm really interested about. This is the Velvetizer Translucent Mix in Medium. And this is, a translucent mix in medium powder that you could mix into foundation to give it an extra blown out finish, extra velvety feel, a beautiful matte finish and added coverage. So you mix the powder in with your foundation. So interesting. Uh, or you can use it alone to set your makeup for a flawless finish. So I'm really interested specifically about this product because I'm like a powder that you can mix in with your foundation, give extra coverage and matteness. Whoa, and that one retails for $34. Like I said, I'll be doing a separate review of those as well because I'm super interested to see how they actually work. Tweezerman sent me this amazing little bag. It's like a little, um, you know, penny pack for brushes that you can wear when you're doing makeup for people. And then they also sent me the um, mini face contour brush set, which is $27. So you get like a little kind of, um, you know, what do they call it? It just says mini contour foundation brush. The angle of this brush head allows for seamless blending along the angles of the face, so for contouring. And then also um, you get a mini pointed foundation brush, which is supposed to give precise coverage. It says there's a sponge in here. Oh, and there's also a beauty sponge as well from Tweezerman. Oh, actually it looks so much like my SL Miss Glam one. Oh, but it's quite dense. It's a bit bit firmer. Okay, so from Skin Iceland, I got these and I actually took these with us on our trip and I was really glad I did because I really liked them. These are the Skin Iceland Glacial Cleansing Cloths. First of all, they smell amazing. They smell so fresh and clean and like I'm sitting in a spa. Oh, I love the smell of them. They're quite soapy feeling. Like when you actually use them, it's like, whoa, this is like almost lathering. Um, but it's just a no rinse makeup cloth to remove your makeup. Um, but they were really, really nice. Uh, they've got white willow bark in them. There's 30 in the package. I just thought that they were very nice, gentle, but effective. And the smell of them is so good. They also sent me the Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. And they're like these little pads that you put on underneath your eyes to make your eyes, you know, feel better. Work intensively to help firm, deep up, and reduce the signs of premature aging that accompany a high adrenaline lifestyle. In just 10 minutes, this cooling transdermal gel patch infuses the eye area with concentrated doses of soothing ingredients. Extensin, it helps to firm and tone. Hexapeptide helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Ginkgo biloba helps to reduce puffiness and advanced antioxidant helps to prevent future damage. So they're basically just little eye patches and those are really nice. I have some from Peter Thomas Roth that I like, um, but you know, I've never tried this kind before, so we shall see. And then I also got the Skin Iceland facelift in a bag. You get two pairs of eye gels, two pairs of smile line gels, and then two forehead gels. It says that they are supposed to just help with line plumping, skin smoothing, facelifting, filling in lines for 24 hours. I got these little blemish dots with willow bark rich in salicylic acid. These, I actually tried some from Peter Thomas Roth. I think it was Peter Thomas Roth. They did not do anything. Like honestly, it was a waste of my time putting little dots on, but I finished the whole entire thing and then I was like, okay, that was really not worth my time. So I'm interested to see if these ones actually work. Basically, they're just like little dots that you put over your breakouts and then they're supposed to help clear your breakouts. Um, I'll have to give them a go to know if they actually work or not, but I always like the concept, but then when they don't work, I'm like, dang. This is the Drunk Elephant Peaky Bar and Juju Bar. Um, so one is supposed to cleanse and exfoliate, and one is supposed to clarify, balance, and moisturize. 
And they're basically just little soaps. Then I got some masks. This is the Herb in Nude Sheet Mask Soothing Care. I like the look of that one. That one looks very relaxing. Some purple tea. They're from Misha. Then I got the Real Solution Tensile Sheet Mask from Misha. This one is collagen. Then I got the Green Tea Milk One Pack. Um, and that's supposed to be soothing. Then I also got the Drunken or the Drunk Elephant Lippy Moisturize and Volumize Mong Mongongo. I really like that word, Mongongo. Mongongo Nut Oil, Avocado Seed Oil, and Peptides. And this is a really cute little lip balm. Look how adorable this is. It's just like a, it's, I love it. It's just so cute. And basically has no scent whatsoever. And it's got a little bit of a sheen, but it's completely clear and it's just a lip balm. Okay, from Kitsch, this is what I've been wearing a lot lately and I kind of just love it and I've actually had compliments on it in real life. This is the Kitsch Leo, um, what are they called? Oh, what is this word when you have your sign, your star sign? Leo, Pisces, I, I can't think of the word. Anyway, it came in this cute little box. They are 14 karat gold or sterling silver plated brass. Um, but basically I have the matching earrings. I've already shown you guys these before. They have the little matching earrings and then the little Leo necklace and I love them. They're delicate. You can make them shorter so that it's like right up here or you can make it a little longer. The earrings are just so cute and it's just nice because then it's like nothing dangling. I can keep them in all the time. So far I've had no discoloration. I love them so much. And then I also got these ones which are so beautiful as well. The Leo one looks like this. Isn't that pretty? I love the packaging that it came on. Oh, it was the Beyond the Stars collection, but I also got the long one. So this one has like, it hits you like here, but then it has like the long little piece as well. That's from Kitsch as well. Really cute jewelry. I had no idea Kitsch had jewelry as well. Like look how cute that is. It's like a little crystal. So that one's a little bit shorter. It comes like right around there. And then it also comes with the matching little crystal studs. And I think I have shown you guys these in a video. Aren't those pretty? So summery, I love them. Um, so if you're like into crystals and like all that kind of stuff, then you would definitely love those. They sent me a bunch of hair products, or not hair products, but like hair goodies. So this is a little flamingo bag, isn't that cute? They sent me this really cute little clip. It's like a really pretty gold clip. Who loves a good claw? I feel like claws are the bomb. My mom used to wear claws all the time. Um, then this really pretty button pin which just basically sits right in the top of your bun, like right there. They also sent me these, I love these, I've already got these, and um, I just love them. They're really pretty bobby pins in rose gold, gold, and silver, so they're just really pretty in your hair. Then I got the hair ties, these are all of the like, um, you know, signs, Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo, it's like the stars. So those are the little hair ties. Those are really good for Lily's hair because they don't pull out her hair. Um, then I got the perfect ponytails. These are really cute. They have like a little gold band in the middle. Kind of sparkly ponytail holders. I got another little bun pin. This one really isn't my style, so I might save it for you guys in a giveaway. These are some more bobby pins, again, in the rose gold, gold, and silver. So pretty. The hair coils. These are also really great. They're water resistant. They're kind of like the little things that you would have like, you know, around your wrist when you go to the water park. Um, but people are putting them in their hair now. They're really great for Lily's hair because they don't snag. I use them in my bathroom because I just stick them in my hair when, when I put them in a bun when I do my hair, like when I wash my face, when I do my hair, when I wash my face I meant. And then I got this really fun um, headband as well, which right now I probably should use. I don't actually even know how to use it. Do you do it like this? Do some people wear their hair like that? I think they do. I think that's how I saw it on the website. Then I feel like it gives you this weird poof. Anyway, it's like a little knot headband. It's very cute. I don't know if I'm rocking it right now, but maybe I need to figure out a way to use that thing. Okay, I literally have another humongous pile of stuff. I'm gonna have to do it in two separate videos because otherwise this video is gonna be like an hour long. And my back is starting to hurt me a little bit, so I already filmed another video before this one. So I will probably do that maybe towards the end of the week, maybe on Friday, I'll share the rest of the stuff with you guys. Um, so you guys can see exactly what other stuff is out there that's new in the makeup world 
or just new to me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. If there's anything specific that I didn't say that I will be doing a review, like for example, I will be doing a separate video of the Becca. I will also be doing a separate video of that Urban Decay because I'm super excited, as well as the other foundations. But if there's any other products or collections that I showed you, I don't think there is, but if there is, and you're like, oh, I need to see that as well, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always willing to take suggestions for you know, product reviews that you want to see. Um, but yes. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye.